lighting is amazing. I don't got no motherfucking makeup on. Anyway, hi everybody, it's your girl Selena Joy coming at you with another video. So today I just wanted to touch on my weight loss journey because I've been getting so many DMs on Instagram, especially from moms, um, just telling me how much I encourage them and how much, you know, I have attributed to their motivation to want to get back into the gym after having children. Um, so I just wanted to give some really good advice um, as far as to how I lost 72 pounds and counting. Uh, I'm gonna be very transparent though, you know, I have things, you know, that come with motherhood, you know, and I want to be real and I want to be open about that because <clears throat> we live in a society that will create illusions about what a real woman is supposed to look like and I want to push the narrative of you just being the absolute best version of yourself because that's what I try to do I took the idea of the beautiful curvy shape that God gave me naturally and I said I want to scope that to its maximum capacity and that's what I'm aiming to do um, I'm currently 178 pounds um, my goal is 150 pounds so we're gonna see how that looks but the top advice that I can give everybody number one is to be consistent this is a lifestyle change it is not something that's meant to be temporary and it's not gonna take one night to drop 20 30 40 pounds it's going to take time um this has taken me a good year to lose this amount of weight like I'll be honest because I had some things mentally that made it hard for me to stay consistent I had to be real with myself um so number one be consistent. Don't give up on yourself. If you give up, you're just going to waste time wishing that you hadn't given up. It's really that simple. Now, number two, you have to set an ideal goal for your body type. What is the ideal weight that you would like to look at? And then place that into what's called a caloric deficit, meaning that you have to be burning more calories on a consistent basis than what it is that you put into your body. Now, the way you do that is by looking at the charts. For a woman my height, I'm supposed to take in maybe like 2,000 calories. So right now, my calorie intake every day is 1,500 calories. Um, <clears throat> the best thing you can learn how to do is measure your food. Know everything that's going into your body so that you can track it. So that you know how much fat, you know how much calories, you know how much protein you're intaking. Then you want to take the amount, um, how much you weigh, and a gram for every pound in protein yes baby girl you need a lot of protein that is going to help sculpt your body you need protein <clears throat> and then drinking um i forget what the exact thing is there's supposed to be an equation to this but i just go for a gallon of water a day a gallon of water a day cut the sugar cut complex carbs do replacements and measure it just skip the rice skip the bread if you can and if not if you want to do that you want to measure it only do it in moderation you know and do brown rice do low carb bread low carb wraps do the alternatives and make sure you're measuring everything you're taking account for all the calories that are going into your body so that you can stay consistently in a caloric deficit and it is okay uh to throw in little cheats in there for that you don't deprive yourself but overall you want to be at like at least 90 percent capacity if you eat a fucking chocolate bar that does not mean it's the end of the world and you just go into a cycle of just eating whatever the hell you want to you get back up and then you get back on track and then that's just that and then also i'm gonna be honest with y'all y'all have to meal prep i don't want to hear no excuses i have kids i have work i have this i have that baby i got three kids three not one not two but three i am a married woman that means i have my relationship I have a job. I'm a stylist at that. And I'm a stylist at a salon that is very well known. I am back to back to back to back to back to back. I don't get a break. Half of the time, I'm lucky if I can eat. Okay? And I still come home. I either work out before on top of my mommy duties, on top of my wife duties, and then or after. I find the time. I don't make excuses for myself. Excuses are like assholes. Everybody got one. That's why not everybody is made for this lifestyle. It is a mindset change. You're either going to do it or you're not. It's work, baby. You got to put in the work. If you're not willing to put in the work, get the fuck off my channel because you're not in the right place. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put fire under your asses and y'all going to do the work because that's what we do over here. We do the work. This is a reality. It takes work. I'm in the gym five days a week. And if not, I'm not in the gym, I'm working out at home. And if I'm not working at the home, at home, I'm at your local park somewhere putting in work. But either way, it's work. And you don't want to be afraid of weight. I have literally sculpted my body. Listen. Where I'm at. Let me 
weight training. I am lifting heavy weights. I squat over 200 pounds. On the free weight squat machine, I can do 300 and something plus pounds, 400 and something plus pounds. My deadlifts, I think I'm at almost, I can deadlift 200 pounds. Don't be scared of weights. And then when you do do cardio, you want to do hit cardio, you want to do interval training, you don't want to be sitting on the treadmill for a damn hour. Don't nobody want to sit on the treadmill for a damn hour. If you got that much time in your life, then you got more time than you need to be having on your free time. This needs to be something else being done because don't nobody got time for that. If I'm going to do cardio, I do cardio two to three times a week and I'm not going to do more than 30 minutes. And it's going to be high intensity training because it's going to build up that metabolic rate and it's going to help to burn fat at a more efficient rate. <clears throat> what else could I say what else because I really just did this video off the top of my head because I don't have a lot of time in my schedule but like I said I don't make excuses because I promised people that I would make these videos so I'm going to do that I have been sharing recipes for things that I like to eat because I think the thing that most people struggle with and that's a lot of the DMs that I'm getting as we speak I struggle with being consistent in my diet that's because you're not being realistic you're not allowing yourself to be a person and still enjoy the foods that you like you can take the foods that you like and find alternatives you don't have to not eat mayonnaise in your sandwich ever again or even just not eat a sandwich you can get the low carb bread eat it in moderation not every day and use light mayonnaise that has like a tenth of the calories you know what i'm saying protein cookies protein chicken nuggets you can literally find high protein low calorie replacements for the food that you love to eat every single day see what i'm saying it makes it so much easier because you don't feel like you're deprived all the time that way you can be consistent and give yourself you know space for little things that you like and finding the alternatives that you like like me personally my thing in the morning i like my coffee i love tea too i drink tea throughout the day sometimes but i am not giving up my coffee in the morning i'm sorry uh, it's a comfort thing it wakes me up it helps me feel good i read with it and I have like a whole thing. So, I don't put milk and sugar. I have the almond milk creamer. And I my, my coffee usually has like 100 calories. The average cup of coffee has like two 300 calories. Because it's like so much sugar, so much milk. Like no, you just need a few tablespoons, enough for it to taste sweet. You don't need to do all the extra stuff. Um, and really honestly, you just have to prioritize yourself. You have to love yourself enough that you not making these excuses because so as mothers this is what we do so much we put everybody before ourselves that's how we let go of ourselves you need to put you first it is okay to put yourself first you're not being selfish because how can you be the best mother and the best wife that you can possibly be if you're not filling your cup and this is something i see all the time with my clients too you need to fill your cup you need to prioritize yourself your health you need to take care of yourself because one of the biggest things in this world of getting into shape is your mindset because one thing that getting into shape will do is recreate your mindset because you learn about yourself you learn how to love yourself more you look better you feel better you know what i'm saying so these are just a few of my tips and tricks you know i'll be doing like recipes i'll be doing like a full like what i eat in a day so you'll see like this, you know, progress as time goes on. But honestly, the key things, caloric deficit, high protein, low carb, consistency, mindset change, lifestyle change. This is a consistent thing throughout time. And make sure you're in the gym, you're putting in weight, work, you're doing the weights, and you're you're really doing things that are going to help to build the muscles that it is that you're trying to build so that it can burn the fat. All right. So like, comment, subscribe, because you know, girl. I got some kids, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to really build something here. So please like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys' time and energy. Thank you. Have a good day.